Oh, welcome back. Uh, if you ever wondered how bad these cheap sets of uh, reamers are that you can get off Amazon and eBay and places, um, I did. So I bought a set and uh, we're about to find out. Now, reamers are used for making holes, but they can only take a very small amount of material off. So you will have to drill the hole with a regular drill bit, a little bit undersized and looking on the internet, it's about two to three percent um, under size. You want to drill the hole, and then the reamer just shaves off the tiniest little bit to make the hole perfectly round because a drill bit won't make a round hole. Um, and the idea is that you get a very accurate hole and a very round hole. Now, are these dimensionally accurate? Using the calipers, if we rotate the reamer backwards very gently we are it's just a shade over 10 and this is a 10 I don't know if that will pick up a 10 millimeter reamer apparently it is h7 tolerance um, and we will have a look at what that means and whether it actually comes out of that so I've already put a piece of aluminium in the chuck and I've prepared it for a 9.7 millimeter drill so that's three percent undersized from 10 millimeters um, hopefully that will be an appropriate amount of material to remove now because reamers are only shaving off the tiniest amount of material um, it's probably a fairly good chance they can rub so it's generally a good idea to put plenty of oil on the on the reamer here it comes there we are to keep it lubricated throughout the cutting process just move in a little bit and also for reaming you want to run about half the speed you would have done for drilling. So let's just try reaming this up. Alright, I don't know whether we can see that very well, but it has skimmed a tiny amount of material off the uh, bore in the aluminium. Let's measure it now, see what we got. Oh, so the caliper says 999. This is a 10 millimeter drill that is 999. Let's see if it actually fits. Yes, that's a very nice fit. I wouldn't say it is perfect, but it's pretty good, a lot better than you can get with a drill bit. Okay, so that's 10.045, which is 45 microns over size. Now, bearing in mind that that was reamed in a drill chuck, which has probably got a lot of um, misalignment, so you're going to have effective run out um, in the system. Now, let's have a look at what it should be. So I found this chart, um, ISO tolerances for holes, um, 6 to 10 millimetres, we've got a 10 mil hole, and H7 is supposed to be plus 15 minus 0. Uh, so 15 microns oversize, not allowed to be undersized at all. Um, shafts are 0 to a minus figure, so they have to be either on size or undersize. Um, so it doesn't look like we've quite hit H7, um, whether that's technique or the tool um, I'm not sure but um, 
if we look down this chart we're looking more like an H10 fit so in my opinion um, they're not too bad um, okay they don't quite hit the tolerance they say they're gonna hit but as long as you know what they can do um, and you use them for appropriate jobs then to be honest um, I think this was best part of 20 pounds for a 2 to 10 millimeter set so 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 um, so yeah if you want to do mega accuracy holes you want to buy a decent reamer um, but if you want to have a play around with these um, they're probably worth a punt um, I did make sure that I chose one that didn't explicitly say that it had to be used on soft materials um, a, a number of these said that they would only be good for wood plastic aluminium that sort of thing and this one did say that it would do steel and brass as well but they seem to work hope you enjoyed that um, and thanks for watching